Meghan Markle has been advised to choose an alternative birthing plan as she is considered a geriatric mother at the age of 37. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will welcome their first child together in April. The pair have enjoyed a whirlwind romance since 2016 after meeting when they were both in their 30s. But as Meghan is over 35, she has been advised to consider her birthing plan carefully as an older mother. Julie Jomine, a professor of midwifery at the University of Hull, warned that even though Meghan leads an active lifestyle though healthy eating and regularly doing yoga, she may still experience a longer labor than younger pregnant women. She said to Express.co.uk, in terms of birthing plans for mothers over 35, while statistically risks increase with pregnancy at a later age, if an older first-time mum is healthy and well then their options for birth should be as for anyone else. There's some evidence to suggest that induction of labor is slightly more prevalent to avoid any risk of placental insufficiency, though the health of the placenta is also linked to good general health, nutrition, not smoking. This may mean labor might be slightly longer due to the efficacy of the uterine muscles. Egan should weigh up the options for whether a caserine or induced labor will be the best option when giving birth. Mais Jomine said, it is important for women and their maternity professionals, such as midwives and obstetricians, to talk about their own personal risks, as well as their preferences and options. This is because induced labor and spontaneous labor are different birth experiences as is a caserine section induction is considered to increase the risk of the caserine, although evidence is somewhat conflicting. In addition one section often can lead to future caserines, which needs consideration by any mum to be when birth planning. Mais Jomin also revealed a recent study in Canada had shown waiting at least in between pregnancies was recommended for women over 35. This was because mothers who conceived six months after a previous birth had a greater 1.2% risk of maternal mortality than their younger counterparts. She said, the issue is of course that older mums are more likely to plan to have babies closer together as they don't have the same luxury of time in terms of their fertility, as women still in her 20s would have. However, the general health of the mum is an important factor here in risk. Ultimately, it has to be a woman's choice, what is important is that they are aware of the evidence around birth spacing and that they make their choice based on good evidence-based information. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.